Hi guys and welcome to Geeks 40k channel. Today you join us at Warhammer World. A um, bit of a special event today. We've got various different YouTube channels uh, here. Uh, so I'm representing the Geeks and I'm going to be playing Mike uh, from Winter's SEO. And so let's show you the board and tell you a bit about what's going on. So we've got a Tau army playing Grey Knights. Uh, and on the board uh, we've got a couple of objectives. One just there and one in the building just up here. We've got one by the Rhino down there, and we've got one right in the centre of the battlefield there. Um, the mission we're playing today is uh, Big Guns Never Tire, so hence the uh, D3 plus 2 objectives. So there you go, that's the, uh, that's the board. Let's, uh, let's show you the armies. Okay, so here's my 1500 points worth of Tau. Um, for those of you who've seen the channel before, this is um, a slightly diluted version of the army that you've seen several times before now. Um, my commander is uh, my warlord. Uh, he's got the drone controller and he's got um, two marker light drones with him. Um, then I've got my troop element made up of three squads of fire warriors, pretty um, diminished in numbers and no devil fish on this just to keep the points down. Got piranha with the fusion blaster um, in the fast section. We've got um, hammerhead uh, without long strike uh, in the uh, heavy support element. The elites. We've got a squad of uh, crisis suits with mostly plasma guns. Um, then to bolster the army up, I've got a heavy support cadre, which has got the Riptide. Um, he's got um, the um, upgrades to give him Interceptor and Skyfire. And we've got two broadsides um, depleted on drones, but we've still got the two broadsides. Uh, and then we've got the optimized stealth cadre. Um, Ghost keel with stimulant injector and two squads of stealth suits. Again, no drones here. Uh, just keeping the points down to 1500 points. Okay, so here's the 1500 points worth of Grey Knights I'm up against. Uh, we've got Librarian down here with a Combi Plaz. And we've got two Strike Squads uh, with a Side Cannon and an Incinerator in there. And then we've got a 10 man Terminator Squad. Uh, basically, what you see there is um, what you get. So, a bit of a combination of weapons in there. Then we've got two Dread Knights, one with an Incinerator and a Hammer. And then one with the side cannon and the jump upgrade on that one. And then we've got Storm Raven, which is, again is kind of what you see is uh, what you get there. But um, awesome minutes. I do love these little Terminator guys. Really, really good. And a bit of a conversion going on down here, I think, as well. It's a really good, nice looking army. Um, can't wait to mull them, hopefully. Well, deployment is a slightly one sided affair. Um, the Grey Knights are um, using Nemesis strike formation, so. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, over on my side, I've put Fire Warriors um, supported by the Crisis Suits down here. Uh, the Commander's just there. Um, heavy Support, uh, Cadre just um, milling around at the top there. Ghost Keel and Hammerhead. Uh, Fire Warriors there. Fire Warriors there on the objective. And um, I will be infiltrating the Stealth Suits uh, into the building just over there. So I'm going to pick those up and move those in a second. And like I said, because um, delayed deployment, if you like, whatever it's called these days. Um, there's nothing on the other side at all, which is a little bit weird as an interesting starting point. Right, so um, most of the Grey Knights have turned up. Um, in particular, Dread Knight here, um, which just about got away with the one inch um, distance, which is good for him, I guess. Um, and over here, um, landed in the terrain, but um, no ill effects at all. Um, we've got a very, very brave uh, strike squad down here who uh, managed to nail that roll, which is dead lucky because they're in the edge of the board just there. Uh, and Terminator's just here. Um, I used my interceptor to try and take out the Dread Knight, but um, only one wound and um, a passed armor check. So um, that is um, deployment, I guess, movement done, uh, and we're straight into shooting. Okay, so um, a pretty brutal round of um, shooting and, and psychic phase. So in the psychic phase, the librarian over there cast uh, psychic shriek at, um, at the squad that was there. So you can kind of guess what happened. A uh, pretty awesome roll um, meant that those guys were wiped out. Uh, down here, uh, these boys need to take a morale check. Um, they got mostly barbecued, um, thanks to, um, to the incinerator and that squad just there. Um, over in the centre of the battlefield, um, the two stealth suit squads got um, got a lot of attention with flamers and um, and side cannons, but uh, overall not too bad. Two models taken off from there, which considering the amount of firepower they, they got was not too bad. Acceptable, I would say. 
Okay, so we're in the movement phase. Um, these guys here um, have moved up into the objective. Um, the uh, crisis suits have moved forward along with the commander, uh, eyeing up that Dread Knight over there. Uh, same for the heavy support cadre. Um, my ghost kills took a step back away from there because uh, that looks a bit scary and uh, so is my hammerhead. A um, little bit of reshuffling going on inside the building here. Um, just trying to reduce the opportunity for um, mass casualties from a flamer. And then down here, the bad news is these guys here, um, they failed their morale check. Um, uh, they're running seven inches, so they're still on the board, but um, they're going to be pretty ineffective this turn. OK, so good round of shooting there. Um, the uh, crisis suits um, with the extra support of um, the commander and a Markalite or two has taken out uh, Dread Knight over there, which is awesome because he's heavy support, so that's, um, that's an extra victory point. Uh, then uh, the Riptide and the Broadsides and the Ghost Keel and the Hammerhead all fired at the other Dread Knight and um, almost killed it, actually, on their own. But uh, I say on their own, that's like half the army. But they did leave it with one wound. Then I remembered I got these boys hiding out down here. And just sheer weight of shots, really, on these guys. They've, they've taken it out, so that is another victory point. And also taken out um, a potential threat there that I didn't like the look of very much. Um, so that is a good round of shooting. Um, I'm now going to go into the assault phase. Obviously there will be no assault as such, um, but I'm going to use my jetpack moves and then I'm going to hand over to uh, the Grey Knights. So um, in the movements phase, uh, the uh, strike squad down here have basically corralled this poor little squad down here. And uh, the Terminators have um, bunched up and uh, started to move a little way forward. Uh, down the centre of the field here, uh, deep striking uh, strike squad down there, uh, turned up, um, managed to survive landing in somewhat awkward terrain, but then um, the Riptide, um, thanks to its interceptor, mullered them basically. So they're down to two uh, units, or two squad members left. Um, so that's the movement done. Um, now I've got to feel the wrath of shooting and psychic. Uh, so in the shooting phase down here, um, well, actually in the psychic phase, the bad news happened. Um, so the stealth suit squads got wiped out by the librarian down here using uh, Psychic Scream. Not a big fan of that. That's twice it's wiped out whole units. Um, the remainder of the strike squad down there, um, they used um, the flamer to take out one of these, uh, the drones. And then they've run into the building down there. Uh, down here, um, pretty callous. Uh, these guys are um, holding back from shooting because they want to charge, which is just mean if you ask me. Um, the Terminators down there, they did try to shoot the hammerheads, but uh, their weapons are useless, uh, glad to say. Uh, so no uh, successful glances or on pens. Uh, so not the best round of shooting, I don't think. Assault. Well, it may not surprise you to know that um, that tiny little squad was wiped out. Um, <laughs> however, a one-inch consolidation means they don't really get to go very far. Um, but yeah, no surprises, wiped out. Movement. Um, so, uh, the commander and uh, the crisis suits have moved over that way. Um, I'm trying to take out the strike squad that's in there, start uh, taking ownership of that objective. Um, Riptide's just basically spun on the spot to, to target the Termis. Uh, the broadsides have moved around to, uh, to get a foreign squad together down there. Uh, Ghost Keel has, has moved up a little bit. I'm hoping he's still within 12 inches. I should have measured that really. Um, so we could do a run in a second and go that way. And um, my hammerhead is again spun around on the spot, targeting that strike squad down there. So that's movement done. We're going to do a couple of runs and then we're going to get into shooting. Uh, so the commander's wiped out the, uh, the strike squad that was down there. Um, the ranks of master firepower down here, we've killed three terminators over there. But the significant thing is the warlord is dead. Um, he managed to get loads of lookout sirs, and the one armor save he had to make himself, he failed, which is, uh, which is pretty funny from this side of the table anyway. So that's Slay the Warlord to add to the victory points. Um, past their morale, though, and these guys down here, uh, they lost one squad member to the smart missile system on the hammerhead. Um, the rail rifle has done what it always does and uh, failed to hit. Um, those guys have, however, passed their morale, so they're still in the game. Just going to do the assault moves, and then it's back to Grey Knights. Uh, so strike squad down here have made a move into the building. Uh, the Terminators have shuffled around a little bit and trying to use that cover to the best of their advantage, I'm guessing. Um, the significant change in the middle of the board here is uh, Stormraven. 
which has appeared uh, and moved its full 36 inches from the edge of the table down there. Um, it, oh, it's already down to one hole point. It got, um, it got mullered by uh, the Riptide uh, using its Interceptor and Skyfire. Um, so that's nice. Um, yeah, there we go. That's movement done. Um, not a lot to report in the shooting phase. Um, the Terminators down the back there uh, shot into the crisis suits. So they've killed one guy, knocked another one down to a wound. Uh, the Storm Raven did all that it could to try and take out my um, hammerhead, um, but a combination of jinx and um, pretty bad rolling means it's still there uh, with no damage at all. Uh, and then down here we've got a one-inch run move um, just to move those guys forward a little bit closer to the objective. Uh, that is the end of that turn. Uh, so broadsides have split off from um, the Riptide a little bit and uh, they're looking at that strike squad down there. It'd be nice to kill those guys. Uh, Hammerheads basically stayed put. Um, my crisis suits down here uh, and the Ghost Kill have moved up to try and get the Terminators without much of a cover save. Uh, my commander is um, he's just going to stay where he is because he's quite happy. Uh, so what's been happening here? Um, the Terminators have been mullered by um, the Crisis Suits and the Commander that's hiding around there and the Ghost Keel, um, so they're dead. Um, the Riptide um, finished off the Storm Raven. Um, the six guys inside, somehow miraculously one guy who is going to be nominated as Hero, got blown out the side of the vehicle um, and he's landed over there. Um, he was with a squad sort of next to him. Um, that squad was taken down by the broadsides um, and by the Hammerhead's um, smart missile system, although the railgun still can't hit anything, which is utterly ridiculous. Um, now, Mike's decided to call it um, based on the fact that he's got one guy left. Um, doesn't want me to table him, I think. Ooh, that's harsh. Um, but yeah, basically, I mean, there's just no way back from there with one guy. Uh, so we're going to call it. Um, I have... Um, Slay the Warlord, and I've got an objective down there. I've got an objective over there, which I've got uh, under my control. Um, I could probably go and grab that one as well with the jetpack move, but I don't want to rub salt in the wounds. Um, I did, um, however, concede uh, first blood, and this guy is technically on that objective. So um, we'll tally the scores up uh, and work out exactly uh, how that looks. But uh, pretty convincing victory for the Tau. Um, so, you know, once again, guys, we really appreciate you taking the time out to watch the videos. If you like what you're seeing here, then uh, please hit that subscribe button. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one.